Good morning, guys. Set this one running last night when I came to bed. Got the time lapse camera running on it. It's a submarine. A baking powder submarine. It's rather large. In fact, I've had to scale it down a bit because it was too big to fit in the printer. It's very nearly finished. It'll be interesting to see if it works. I've got another one to do as well. It's a different design. And that one's a bit smaller. That's the second baking powder submarine in progress. Still a fair way to go on that. Oh, that will focus. There we are again. Yeah, about another hour or so, I think, that one. They look quite nice. Clean out the um, support stuff and glue it together. Might have to trim that a bit, that should fit in the top there. Sometimes it comes out easily. Yeah. Might need a little bit of glue on that. That one seems all right. So, need to glue it together. If you don't know how they work, you put the baking powder in there. That's got to fit in there nice and tight. wonder which way up. I would have thought it should have gone that way up. Now you put baking powder in there. As the baking powder gets wet, it creates carbon dioxide gas. That will create a bubble under here. And that will 
lift the submarine out of the water or through the water. And when it gets to the top, this should unbalance, tip over, and the bubble of gas should escape. Once that's escaped, then it should be heavy again. And it should sink back, back down to the bottom. That's the theory, which is why that piece needs to be a good fit in the top there. So I'm going to have to glue it together and see how it goes. Before I do that, because I'll probably do that off screen, we'll have a look at the other one. It's a simpler shape. Do a bit of filing, I think, to get this neat. Hmm. Again, same principle. I've got to get that um, that stuff out. That should sit down in there, baking powder in there, sit that in there, it gets wet, bubbles fill up down here, so that will rise up, get to the top, tip over, bubble escape, go down again. I'll get my files out and try and tidy all that up. Right, I've spent Quite a bit of time cleaning these up. I'm just going to put them in the water and see if they actually sink. Yep, that one sunk. And that one sinks. So I'll better get some baking powder and see if they'll come back to the surface. I've only got a very small amount of water in there at the moment. There's no point in filling it right up if they don't work at all. Right. In there. I'm going to get the top on the other one. Pushed it on too hard and I've split the join. Well, I'm going to put it in there anyway. See the bubbles coming out where they shouldn't. A nasty feeling we're on a bit of a loser here. Yeah, this one's definitely going to fail because the bubbles are escaping out the top where I've split it because I had to glue the sides together and pushing the top on, I've actually split it. So that one's not going to work. On that one, because we can see the reflection off the bottom, I can actually see there is a bubble forming underneath. Whether it'll be enough to actually lift it, well, we'll just leave it. But the 
the big one's definitely going to be a fail. I think this one would have been better if he'd have made the central chamber, the bubble chamber, a single moulding or a single print. Could have still had the sides of the submarine as separate prints, but that middle bit, because we've got a join in it that we've had to glue, unless you get a really good glue joint, it's never going to work properly. That one's moving. If you check back through my previous videos, well, have a look in the video description, there'll be a link to my uh, baking powder submarines, where I have actually made them myself, and they did work. There's also some shop-bought ones in there as well. That's a real shame. I reckon that one might have worked if I hadn't split it. I'll have to see if I can glue it back together, clamp it and glue it. Fail. Tipped over. So now I can move this one. All right, we'll try this one again. No, this one's not balanced well enough either. Stopped it leaking, so it's now all coming out the bottom, but that's not enough to lift it, it's too heavy. So we've got two fails.
That's a shame. Oh, I'm certainly producing the gas. The small one has got a big chamber underneath to collect the gas before it tips over. This one hasn't. So this one needs a redesign. It needs a bigger chamber at the bottom there. I might even be able to melt it or something to enlarge it. I think we've spent enough time on it tonight, so we'll leave this. I'll put this video together as a, a fail and then we'll see if we can improve them at all. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description and if you like this video you might like this one up here and you might like to have a look at my channel over here, see what else I do. Thank you for watching.